dear students continuing with our lecture series on oxidation reactions in this lecture uh, we will see how silver reagents they are effective in oxidation of different types of uh, organic compounds uh, as you know uh, silver in its metallic state is a gray shining soft metal uh, with atomic number 47 and in most of its uh, reactions uh, the oxidation state of silver is plus 1 uh, the main uh, oxidation reactions which take place in different types of organic compounds uh, they are uh, oxidation of alcohols diols phenols and then oxidation of aldehydes to carboxylic acids so we will discuss these uh, functional group transformations one by one first is oxidation of alcohols uh, most of the silver based catalyst uh, they oxidize alcohols to the corresponding carbonyl compounds and uh, most effective among these is silver carbonate uh, which has been used for oxidation of primary alcohols to aldehydes and secondary alcohols to ketones for example in this uh, natural uh, natural alkyl uh, if you see this is having a secondary uh, hydroxyl group uh, which is allylic in nature and uh, in addition uh, this alkyl is having other uh, ether uh, functional groups present and then an alkyl uh, tertiumin group present in the molecule and uh, this reagent silver uh, carbonate is effective only in the oxidation of allylic alcohols to alpha beta unsaturated ketones and no other uh, group like uh, tertiumin and ether group they are affected so we can say in a way uh, this uh, silver carbonate is a selective reagent for oxidation of secondary alcohols to ketones and in the present case allylic alcohol is oxidized to alpha beta unsaturated ketone similarly uh, uh, another uh, reagent that is silver carbonate precipitated on silite which is known as uh, fatizon's reagent uh, this also uh, is very effective for oxidation of primary and secondary alcohols to aldehydes and ketones and here we use even uh, milder conditions uh, which were used for silver carbonate and uh, uh, the oxidation is uh, effective even in neutral conditions and this reaction uh, again is highly chemoselective and uh, other uh, function groups present they are normally not affected by Uh, the oxid uh, oxidizing agent so for example you can see this molecule so here again this is a secondary alcohol mighty uh, which is allylic to this uh, carbon carbon double bond and in addition we are having a carbon carbon double bond isolated carbon carbon double bond also and then uh, tertiary butyl dimethyl silyl ether mighty also and an ester group also so you can see that out of uh, these other functional groups present ether moiety carbon carbon double bond ester moiety uh, these groups they are not affected by the oxidizing agent only uh, the secondary uh, hydroxyl group that is secondary alcohol is oxidized to the ketone group in 86% heat so uh, in a way uh, silver carbonate on silite is very chemoselective uh, reagent for oxidation of primary and secondary alcohol in another example you can see this is a primary alcohol and uh, this is oxidized to uh, the corresponding aldehyde and here also uh, the other function group like uh, carbon carbon double bond and trimethyl silyl group they are not affected by the oxidizing agent uh, and then nerol which is a natural uh, product can be converted into the corresponding aldehyde nerol 
under the same conditions and here also the carbon carbon double bonds present in the molecule they are not affected and only the primary hydroxyl group is oxidized to the uh, corresponding aldehyde then oxidation of diols uh, the uh, silver reagents uh, when they are reacted with uh, diols uh, they generally uh, oxidize only one of the hydroxyl groups uh, depending upon uh, what type of uh, structure that diol is having. For example, if uh, we use butane 1,4 diols, pentane 1,5 diols and hexane 1,6 diols, there uh, both the primary hydroxyl groups if they are present, they are converted into the corresponding lactones for example we can see this uh, this is uh, one four uh, butane diol uh, which is substituted at uh, position two and three by this uh, cyclic ring uh, when this is oxidized with uh, silver carbonate on silite uh, this uh, is oxidized uh, to the corresponding lactone uh, the in the initial stage oxidation of one of the uh, primary hydroxyl group to the aldehyde group takes place and then that uh, partially oxidized uh, glycol uh, uh, undergoes cyclization to give us a lactole and this lactole is further oxidized to the lactone so this is the mechanism for formation of lactones from 1,4-diols uh, and 1,5 uh, and 1,6-diols they also behave similarly uh, with the same mechanism as is uh, seen in case of butane 1,4-diols and uh, if uh, in case of uh, diols uh, one of the hydroxyl group is secondary then we will get a mixture of lactone and the hydroxy ketone because secondary hydroxyl group will be oxidized to the ketone and then uh, that may undergo uh, cyclization to give a lactone but we will get a mixture of lactone and hydroxy ketone and uh, uh, if uh, out of the two uh, hydroxyl groups in case of diol uh, say both are primary then lactone uh, from the oxidation of less hindered primary alcohol will be obtained then other diols uh, like 1,2 uh, diols and 1,3 diols uh, they will give uh, hydroxy aldehydes or ketones uh, as the major product depending upon the structure of the substrate for example, cyclohexane 1 to diols, they will give us 2-hydroxy uh, cyclohexanone as the major product, whereas uh, butane 1, 3 diols, they form 1-hydroxy 3-butanone. So, uh, this is 1-hydroxy, uh, uh, this is butane uh, 1, 3 diol, and this is uh, pentane uh, 2, 4 diol. So, all uh, both of these, they will give us uh, hydroxy ketones as the product. And there will be no formation of lactone in these cases uh, because uh, uh, these are only 1,2 diols and uh, stability of the intermediate is not high so that the cyclization may take place. Then uh, oxidation of phenols, uh, phenols uh, they can be oxidized to variety of products depending upon uh, the type of substituents which are present on the aromatic ring of the phenol. For example, in case of 2,6 uh, di substituted phenols, this one, when this is uh, treated with silver carbonate, this will undergo dimerization at the para position and we will get uh, these types of uh, diphenoquinones as the product. But if 
uh, we use one for uh, uh, substituted one for catechols then uh, on oxidation they will give us one for uh, benzoquinone uh, derivatives as the product so depending upon the structure of the phenol we will get either uh, dimerized product or uh, benzoquinones as the product then uh, Aldehydes they can be oxidized to carboxylic acids uh, when silver oxide is used in THF and water. So basically uh, hydroxylation of the aldehydic group takes place to give us the uh, carboxylic acid. And this reaction is also a chemoselective reaction. You can see that other uh, functional groups like carbon-carbon double bond present in the molecule and the ester moiety present in the molecule is not affected only oxidation of the uh, aldehydic uh, carbonyl group takes place to give us carboxylic acids so these are the references which have been used for preparing this lecture thank you very much